stylus guitar picks. I bought those when they first came out. Um, crap. Don't buy into the hype. If that general style of pick interests you, don't bother with the stylus. I don't feel the need to use it. They also make chords virtually impossible, so don't count on them for any sort of live performance. The website makes it look way too much like cheap snake oil, totally packed, full of completely bogus user testimony, and lots of empty descriptions how everything will be totally awesome and it can probably bring world peace too. Wow. If you have no idea what this is all about, you're just like me a couple of weeks ago. A Patreon member actually posted this this pick into our Facebook group asking if anyone in our community ever worked with a stylus pick. So despite some of these crazy reviews I got kind of curious and since this is about one of my favorite topics ever, picking technique, precision and speed, I actually do want to give this a try in this video together with you. So let's check out their website and see if it's really that bad and let's order some of these controversial picks and see what happens. Alright so this is the official homepage styluspick.com. I can see a CD-ROM kit right here. <laughs> yeah that's pretty old school, I actually really like it. This is a new release right here a book called Big X. On Amazon it says this one came out in 1984 so I think we are really dealing with some retro shredding stuff right here which is actually kind of cool. Excellent! Yes this is what I want the stylus pick okay a free pack for 9.99 that's not that bad. For development of extraordinary picking techniques. So yeah, I guess we're gonna do this. I will order one of these. I hope it arrives soon. I really want to give this a try. All right, I just ordered my very first stylus pick. Let's fast forward to when they arrive in the mail. All right, my friends, I'm back. I got to do some touring last week. Thanks so much to everybody for coming to the shows. It really was a blast. But more importantly, look what I got in the mail some original stylus picks. All right, so this is what you get, simple enough. As you can see, my favorite slogan is on there. For development of extraordinary picking to me. So let's open this up. Yes, as you can see, you get three stylus picks. The package says, break the speed barrier, the most effective speed picking method ever developed. Let's find out if that's true. So I read some comments about the overall quality of the picks, that they just feel like a cheap piece of plastic. To me, it actually feels all right. It doesn't feel like it's about to break. It's relatively thick. And as you see, the special thing about these picks is that you have this conical tip. So just like a stylus, I guess, that's where the name comes from. And the idea with this is that you immediately get stuck when you're picking and you're using too much pick depth. So you're essentially just allowed to use this very small stylus part of the pick. It's supposed to correct some of your bad picking technique habits like using too much of the pick or using picking strokes that are simply way too big. So let's try this out right away and let's see how it feels like to practice with a stylus pick. Let's try some chords first because one of the reviews said it's impossible to play them with this pick. Oh okay that does feel a bit weird. So as you can see when there's a lot of the pick sticking out like this and I'm attempting to strum a chord. I'm really getting stuck between the strings. This feels super weird. So there's a relatively sharp edge to this part. That's why I'm getting stuck between the strings. It does feel quite crazy and I hope my strings don't break from that. Let me try to just use the stylus part right now. Maybe we can get some chords going. Okay, but it is possible. You really have to focus on just using the tip of the pick or you will get stuck immediately. Yeah, like that. As you can see right now, that's exactly what happens. I'm stuck like this and I'm really applying pressure, trying to move to the next string, but it doesn't work. That's something I never experienced that way before, so that definitely works. But of course, this pick is not meant for playing chords or for playing live shows. What this is actually about, of course, is shredding and picking technique. So let's move through all the common advanced picking techniques and let's see if I can pull them off with this pick. That's gonna be a bit challenging. Okay, that feels more natural right away. All right, those are just my 300 BPM speed bursts that I usually do in the morning to warm up my right hand. And what was really interesting for me right now is that the fast picking actually feels pretty good. I'm used to just working with the tip of my pick when I'm playing fast, but it actually felt really strange when I was playing the slower line, the eighth note line. That's really interesting actually, when it comes to comparing the very fast picking motion to the mid-tempo picking motion. I thought that they are almost identical, but it looks like I'm using more of the pick for those mid-tempos. 
Yeah, and now that I'm using less of the pick, it sounds a bit smoother already. So honestly, that's a pretty interesting discovery for me right now. One thing that I don't like about it is that it already starts to move around in my hand quite a lot. Since it's a super slippery plastic surface, you will lose control easily when you start to sweat a little bit. So it would be a bit better if they had a grip surface like my Dunlop Carbon Jazz 3 picks that I'm using. One thing that might not be good for your picking progress is that the pick obviously doesn't have an edge. I almost get the feeling of gliding across the strings because you don't have that characteristic picking edge that actually makes the string transitions so hard so when it comes to picking depth it's a great practice tool so far but I'm not entirely sure if you can truly understand and master tricky very fast string transitions with a practice pick like that <laughs> Okay, once again, that's kind of surprising. I think I'm using way much more of the pick than I actually thought. I feel like I almost got stuck there, just like when I was playing the chords for the first time. So once again, that's really interesting. Now I focused on using much less of the pick and it actually sounded cleaner and it gets easy to play these fast arpeggio shapes. Okay, but now with the lights pointed on me, the pick starts moving in my hand again. So that's really annoying. I think this is the most slippery pick I ever played in my entire life. But once again, I do have to say, I did get a bit of insight about my sweep picking. I honestly thought all of this is gonna be the other way around that I find out that I'm digging in a bit too much for the super fast alternate picking. But as we discovered, I actually got stuck a bit more with the mid tempo picking and a little bit with the sweep picking, not that much. <laughs> Okay, so with the fast economy picking, it gets deceptively easy again, because once again, you don't feel that picking edge working against you when you're switching between the strings. You have this conical shape and you really glide effortlessly over the strings once you learn just to use the tip of the pick. So to me, that's actually easier right now than with a regular pick. <laughs> Probably because I'm not really an economy picker in the first place. And as you might know from my music, my modular picking technique is similar to sweep picking. So it's a pretty crazy sound because I'm repeating notes in the patterns and I'm letting them overlap with my left hand as well. And once again, if I really focus on only using the tip of the pick, it actually sounds very fluid. So as you hear, it might even sound more fluid with this kind of conical pick shape. So I might even end up using it in a practical context. Of course, it's mainly aimed at technical playing and practicing. But to be honest, I don't really understand the hate about it. Of course, for this price, it's not a high tech, super high quality product. But I actually think it's quite interesting and I will practice with it some more. Please let me know about your thoughts in the comments down below. If you will try a pick like this or if you tried one in the 80s, maybe. I'm not in contact with this company. I'm not sponsored or endorsed at all to do this video. I was just naturally curious and I hope that this was entertaining and maybe you even learn something. By the way, I know that you are always looking for new exercises and for new ways to improve your picking technique that don't necessarily involve gimmicky guitar gadgets. What's this monstrosity? If that's the case, I have some really amazing news for you. I just uploaded one of my personal favorite practice routines with exercise play along videos, backing tracks, tabs and guitar profiles on Patreon. And as you might know, as a member over there, you also get access to my alternate picking masterclass course. With over 6,000 members, we are finally officially the world's biggest music related community on Patreon. And I'm looking forward to welcoming you over there as well. Make sure to subscribe if this video was helpful because I would love to see you, the awesome person that's watching this right now in the next video. Until then, have an awesome day. Remember to get my new picking and phrasing routine on Patreon and have fun practicing. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.